In exercise 11, we return to the Liberty Company from exercise 3. But in exercise 11, instead of assuming that Liberty uses a perpetual inventory system where cost of goods sold was calculated as of the date of the sale, using a periodic inventory system, cost of goods sold is calculated at the end of the period. The specific identification method yields the same results using either the periodic or the perpetual inventory system as ending inventory is determined by referring back to the specific purchase invoice. We still begin with the total units available for sale, the units from beginning inventory plus the units purchased during the period. We're told that the ending inventory consists of 171 units from the January 30th purchase, 120 units from the January 20th purchase, and 34 units from beginning inventory. The value of ending inventory is 238 plus 720 plus 855. The value of the 325 units in ending inventory is $1,813. Cost of goods sold is the total cost of goods available for sale, 3690 minus the value of ending inventory, 1813 Cost of goods sold is 1877 And we can prove the accuracy of the 1877 by looking at the specific units that have been sold. Of the 170 units in beginning inventory, 34 are still on hand at the end of the month. 136 units must have been sold. 136 multiplied by 7 is 952. From the January 20th purchase, 250 units were available, of which 120 are still in ending inventory, so 130 must have been sold. 130 multiplied by 6 is $780 and of the 200 units purchased on January 30th, 171 units are still in ending inventory, so the remaining 29 units must have been sold. 29 multiplied by 5 is 145. 952 plus 780 plus 145 is 1,877. The value of ending inventory is 1,813 and cost of goods sold, 1,877. Letter B assumes that we're using the periodic weighted average system. When we're using a periodic method, we still calculate cost per unit. In this case, total cost divided by total units is $3,690 divided by 620 units for an average cost of $5.952 per unit. To calculate the value of the ending inventory, we multiply the number of units in inventory, 325, by the average cost per unit 5.952 dollars per unit. The value of ending inventory is $1,934. The remaining units have been sold. To calculate cost of goods sold, we multiply the 295 units sold by the average cost of $5.952 dollars per unit. Cost of goods sold is $1,756 dollars. Periodic FIFO assumes that the first items into the database are the first items out. Cost of goods sold is calculated at the end of the period. Cost of goods sold is the first 295 units that we owned. 170 units at $7 per unit and 125 units at $6 per unit. Cost of goods sold equals 170 multiplied by 7, 1,190, plus 125 units multiplied by $6 per unit. $750. Cost of goods sold is $1,940. To calculate the value of ending inventory, we look at the number of units remaining from each batch. We have zero units remaining from beginning inventory, 125 units left from the January 20th purchase, 125 multiplied by 6 is 750, and all 200 units purchased on January 30th at $5 per unit, $1,000. The value of the 325 units in ending inventory is $1,750. Now if these numbers look familiar, there's a really good reason. Periodic FIFO and perpetual FIFO always yield the same results because we're removing the items in chronological order. And finally, periodic LIFO. Using periodic LIFO, we calculate cost of goods sold at the end of the period and we remove the units in reverse chronological order. The last 295 units to come into the database will be expensed as cost of goods sold. 200 units at $5 per unit 
from the January 30th purchase and 95 units from the January 20th purchase. To calculate cost of goods sold, we extend the dollar amounts. 95 multiplied by 6 is $570 and 200 multiplied by 5 is 1000. Cost of goods sold is 1570. This leaves 325 units in ending inventory. 170 units from the beginning inventory at $7 per unit, 1,190, and the remaining 155 units from the January 20th purchase at $6 per unit, $930. None of the units from January 30th are still in ending inventory. The value of ending inventory, the 325 units, is $2,120.